Hey everyone, I'm back with the tutorial y'all have been waiting for for so long. I'm so sorry for delaying it this much, but anyways, let's get right into it. So you're going to want to head over here and hit settings, go to about Chrome OS, hit, you see the Linux development environment tab, hit setup. Now I promise you this was not my first attempt at doing all of this. No, no. It's not fair! <laughs> no! No, that is not fair! <laughs> it's not fair! <laughs> no! I have everything else! No! It's not fair! I was downloading stuff! No! As you can guess, but yeah, you're gonna wanna have about like 10 gigabytes of available storage for this. It's just recommended. I'm I do more because I have access to more. Some some Chromebooks don't have a, have a lot of storage on them, so that's why I'd be careful about that. So yeah, I'll be back when that is finished. Anyways, we're back. It is finished. So now what you're gonna want to do is run over to Chrome, and you're gonna. There were never any pages open. But anyways, you're gonna wanna uh, go to. You're gonna wanna type Yandere Simulator Download. Okay, we're gonna hit the download right there. Now, how I did it last time, I used the .zip file, so that's what we should probably do this time. So, this is the um, this is the game itself. I actually used the um, the zip file because the zip file actually made it. Um, easier for me to do this you can try the um you can try the launcher but i'm haven't tested that far feel free to try if you'd like but i i'm i just use the dot zip anyways we'll be back in another 400 years about that yeah um i think someone might have done it before Nearly 400 years later, it is finally done. Now, what we want to do, we're going to open a new tab, and type in winehq.org. Exactly like that. And then press enter. Wait for that. Then we're going to hit the download button on this side. Then we're going to want to scroll down right here. We're going to hit Debian. Now, this looks terrifying. But I promise you, everything will be okay. There's nothing to be scared of. It's it's okay. I promise you it's okay. There is nothing to be scared of. Just make sure you copy and paste the right stuff. So, just have your terminal window on the left. And copy this. Right click or alt and hold the alt key and click with the trackpad. And then press enter. Now you're not you don't want to do control V because control V doesn't work. As you can see. Okay. Now we're gonna scroll down until we see Debian 12 bookworm. So we're gonna copy that, paste that here. Copy this and paste it there. Then you're going to want to copy this and paste it. Press enter. Let it do its thing. All packages are up to date. Then you're going to want to scroll down to the stable branch and you're going to copy this and paste it the same way. Now it's going to ask, do you want to continue? Type Y and then press enter. And then it is gonna start downloading. So I'll be back when that's done. God, that took like actually 30 minutes for this thing. Oh my God, I don't think it'll take this long for you, but maybe it will. But anyways, from here, you're gonna want to open the files app. Did I just double click that? Anyways, so you're gonna head over to Linux files Create new folder, name it what you want. You can even name it 
that, you're going to go to your downloads, open this, oh no, this is going to take a while, <laughs> oh, okay, you're going to select all of this, and you're going to copy it, go to the folder that you just created, and paste it there. So we'll wait for the, another 40 years for this to finish. I'll be back when that's done. Anyways, we're back at another 400 years later. Oh my god, I am burning daylight. Anyways, you can eject that if you'd like. It's probably best if you do. Now, from here, you're going to go back to the terminal and type wine CFG. Just like that. And then press enter. Now you're going to wait for it to, uh, to load. This window should appear. Now, okay. Now, this might look terrifying. And, um, I'd agree. This kind of does look terrifying. But it, there, it, but this is, you know, this message might appear. And you don't have to go like, <laughs> It's fine. You can press install. Anyways, this message, or this window should appear. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to hit add application. Hit that. Then double click the Z. And we're going to go to home. Double click home. Double click your user. We're going to hit, we're going to double click the folder. Now we're going to select yandere simulator.exe. Hit open. Set this to Windows 11 or Windows 10, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And then hit apply. And then hit OK. That's all you need to do. Now you're going to want to go back to your Files app. Then we're going to right click this, Yandere Simulator.exe. Then click Wine Windows Program Loader. And now the game should start. There we go. Now, like I said last time, don't expect this to run amazingly. It's already running like doo-doo water again. So, uh, yeah. But, that is how you run Yandere Simulator in a Chromebook. If you enjoyed this video, I would honestly love if y'all left a like and subscribed. It, do it supports me a lot. Even just watching this video supports me. And um, let me know if y'all have any suggestions for what I should do next in the comments section below. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, I clicked the wrong mouse. No!